Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. I'm Matt. On today's episode, we're talking about Dogfish Head. This is the Let's Get Lost American Single Malt Whiskey. Mouthful. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt. All right. Dogfish Head. So we were contacted by Dogfish Head oh, a few weeks ago. And they're like, hey, we make a whiskey now. You want to try it? I'm like, sure. Why not? So they sent us a sample. So we got this and another one we'll bring you guys. I was like, I know you guys make beer, but apparently they make whiskey too. I'm like, I've seen articles about it, but I never had it because it's not available here. But I'm like, sure, send us your whiskey. Get, we'll give it a whirl. Sounds like fun. So, of course, as we know, Dogfish Head is one of the you know the biggest, best craft breweries. Started out in 1995. Founded by Sam and Mariah, who owned in Milton, Delaware. But apparently back in 2002, they also made a story, which I was unaware of, that, that they're one of the very first crafts. Like, this at the time, there were like 30 other craft distilleries in the entire country. And that was over 3,000. So that's pretty impressive. So they decided that, uh, like I said, they'd open up this first. It was also the very first brew pub in Delaware called the Dogfish Head Brewer and Eats. So the brewery was also heavily featured in a doc country called uh, Beer Wars and on, also on Discovery Channels for the Beer Masters. So they got that. So they originally started out on... Three basically repurposed kegs that were powered by propane burners, and they were able to make 10 to 12 gallons of beer off of those per day. And now they make over 15,000 gallons of beer, which is uh, significantly more uh, than they did back in the day. Uh, like I said, it's one of the best craft. They're available in 38 states for their different beers. They use a great small They all sorts of weird crap. They've had like green beer, use different kind of weird wild grains. But some of the beers even go up to 28% for 20% ABV, which is crazy high for a beer. That will mess your world up as a, as a, as a beer drinker. So I'm like, all right, well, that's impressive. Um, so they've done all a bunch of wild stuff. They said, Let, let's make a still. So how did they make a still? Because these guys are very injured people. They found out some of their um their world whiskey or sorry the worldwide stout fans were engineers said let's go get repurpose this silo and make a still out of it because that's what normal people do so they did that and called it the franken still so then they put it up in the second story of the freaking brew pub and said let's make whiskey out of here other things so that went on until actually until 2015 then they decided that they'd move it over to their actual brewing campus. This is the Milton Distilling Campus now, and retired it in 2018. And then and they made a new one called Bride of Frankenstill. So at least they kept in the manner. So that's kind of cool. And in 2020, they actually added a column still, which uh, is from their head frame spirits. They also, of course, lots won lots of awards and all that fun stuff. Uh, they have, of course, now they make gin, whiskey, vodka, brandy, as well as pre-made cocktails. So. Now, like I said, they're not available in lots of as far as their whiskeys go, but of course you can find their beer. That's no problem. They've been around like a long time. All right. So what do we got in the bottle here? So this is, like I said, Let's Get Lost with the American Single Malt Whiskey. It's 51%. Uses a, a grains from different, uh, includes pale malt, crystal malt, coffee kiln malt, and a high ratio of applewood smoked malt, which is the same grains used to make their dogfish head ales which is then fermented with doggy ale yeast, which I think is hilarious. So, you know, it's currently available in Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, New Jersey, and Washington. It's three years old and new uh, American charred oak. So let's see what we think of this. Well, I tell you what, I I really want to try the beer now. Like that, you just gave me a, a great uh, reason to bring home a six-pack of dogfish head next time. Yeah, I there's work. all sorts of wild stuff. Like they make crazy, crazy things. I'm not gonna lie, not being a big beer drinker anymore, I've never heard of them. No, no. Oh, well, I've heard of them. I just I've only I only think I had some of their basic stuff. But they, I was looking on their website; they make all sorts of wild stuff. This smells. This smells really very good. good. And this is yeah. reminding me of real. This is reminding me. That's of exactly which is also started out of the brewery, so it makes sense that they and it definitely has that beer backbone, no doubt. You can definitely smell it's that in like there. Like hoppiness going on in there. Yeah, totally agree. I, I don't know that it's hops but it's definitely down that hops path right yeah, that, yeah that ipa path. yes yeah that this is the beer notes a little like grape bubble gum yeah like they said and the we, hoppiness little butterscotch a woody fungalness that malt just yeah. comes right on through though like um what do you call it? like uh lumber like like lumber at home depot maybe even like pencils the pencil shavings when you sharpen it manually. Matt, just a second. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, we're ready again. Sorry. Okay. But yeah, I think pencil shavings and almost like a little bit light. Like uh, rubber cement, like glue. What you said, walking down the lumber aisle at Home Depot. Yeah, yeah, and then that that grape note is it's, it's like that grape gum with that powder on it. Yep, it's bigly, exactly. bigly grape chew. That's what I was thinking exactly of that. Huh? It's a very That's neat nose for a single malt. It's interesting. Like it does it's have a little bit of dusty corn going on. It, it's kind not, of, or it's not, all... not dusty corn, sorry, bus, dusty barnyard. Right. Which yeah. is typically a corn marker of mine. Right. You know what this, it's all malt, Same. yeah. And these are really not malt. I mean, we've always said pale malt and crystal malt. I'm not sure we've had anything with the coffee kiln malt before. I'm not no. familiar a lot with that one. Applewood smoke, you know, we've, we've dealt with. But it's actually an applewood smoked malt, so you've had that before. It's interesting. Yeah, but... This is this is does not lean too far down that smokiness path to me. No, really, because they said they didn't want to get peat because they wanted to make this for the American palate. Right, but there's a difference between peat and smoke. Oh, totally, and that's just why they so, went with this. And I mean, I can get just behind just a little bit of like a, a not a heavy smoke, but just like mm -hmm. a wisp, wisp of it. It's burning off in the distance. Wow. Lots of beer on that. I think there's definitely some hoppiness mm. there. Oh, yeah. It's got a little effervescence-ness to it. It does. So that, um, but it also has, like, Ooh. that incense-ness to it, too. Yeah, it does. I, I kind of put towards that whole woody, smoked, smoked side yep. of it that yeah. we were talking about Home Depot aisle. Yeah, it's got Business. Nice caramel butterscotch too but also got like this pork chop fat rendering in there too it's interesting definitely more smoke on the palate than there was on the yeah nose. way more smoke and it's, on it's, it's really tastes like applewood bacon i think malty and some ipa ton of nose with pear and white peach super interesting i agree that there is a much more of a beery mm -hmm. kind of quality yeah from this. but i agree with what you said that um there's like a white grape yeah <laughs> Like it's well, just white grape juice. Yeah, it's like because this peach and pear thing going on. Yeah, the, very neat. The more it's, I sip on it, the more fruit comes out. And I like the it. color is like it's got like a pinkish tint to it. It really you know does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does have a yeah. pinkish tint, which is interesting. Huh. You see it? Mm -hmm. It's not like that normal golden. Yeah. Hey, like color. Hey, like the, I don't exactly know where this is. Is in, in Delaware? I don't know where Milton, Delaware is. I don't know if that's on the coast or not. No idea. Or if it's inland, but uh, I looked it up. I think it's about sixty there. bucks. It looked like on the internet for these a bottle. Bottle was really bad. cool. Though, I'm not, I'm not disappointed about, about that. Yeah, no, that's you said fifty-one percent ABV. Yeah, yeah, you got you know nice proof I, mean, I think it's interesting it's definitely a different and unique american single mall it's not the like same it. for sure uh, i wish i liked it the against the beer right yeah it's cool I, i'd love to have some other beer now right like we do with real i think we should uh i think it'll be fun get some beer check that stuff out too because no yeah. there's whiskey's good i bet their beer's good no yeah. definitely so. all, right. all right well uh thank you dogfish head for sending this to us appreciate it this was a uh, a funny, unexpected surprise because I had yes, no idea what to think. So we had zero experience with this stuff. So yeah. I'm really thrilled. It's really good. All right. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Come hang out with us live on Monday nights and check out the Patreon for behind the scenes fun. And until next time, keep on crusading for the whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's good. Save a little tip for the time we get the beer. So this is Dogfish Head what now? This is Dogfish Head Let's Get Lost American Single Malt Whiskey. Who's that? Dogfish Head Let's Get Lost American Single Malt Whiskey. Ready? Yep. Let's get lost. Uh, for this episode, we're talking about Dogfish Head and their 
I can't remember what it was called. It's an American single malt whiskey. I remember that part of it. It's something lost. The lost Let's Boys. Get Lost whiskey. Lost Boys. Lost. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Today we're talking about Dogfish Head. <laughs>